Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. In this short video, we are going to be reviewing Zoho Books and how to integrate your bank account information into your Zoho Books. Um, it'll make it a lot easier to uh, do your account reconciliations and, um, and just have that all connected together. So without further ado, I'm going to pop into our Zoho Books account. So here we're looking at the Zoho Books dashboard. We're not. This is the dashboard. And uh, to get into the banking area, I'm going to click on banking over here in the left side gray nav panel. So as you can see, I already have some bank accounts um, <clears throat> in here. This is also where you would add a credit card account as well to, to track your um, credit card activity and what purchases you've made on that and payments you've made on the credit card. So you can um, set that up in here as well. But today our example is we're going to step through setting up a bank account. So I do have some existing bank accounts in here, um, but if I wanted to add a new one, I would go to this uh, red button here in the upper right hand corner and click on that. So my top uh, option up here in the window is if I bank in one of these banks um, that's listed here, I can just click on this and it just makes it a little bit easier to set things up. It's um, you know, they've, they already have routing numbers and things like that uh, preset for some of these more popular, uh, bigger banks. But if your bank isn't on that list, then you can just click here, enter your account manually. And then I basically just am presented with a form. I can select whether this is a bank or a credit card. Uh, and I would type in my account name. I can give it a code if I want, identify the currency. And then here's where I would have to put in the account number that the bank has provided to me. So this is the bank account number. And then I would enter in the bank name and then I would provide the routing number. So remember that your account number and your routing number are generally present on your checks. It's if, if, if it's a checking account, at the bottom of the check is a routing number and, a, uh, and your bank account number. So that's where you can get that information from. And, uh, and then you can just put a description in here if this is you know, your primary checking or you know, whatever, whatever you want to, uh, whatever information you wanna capture about this particular account. And then this little checkbox will make this the primary account. And what that means is anytime you send or receive or log payments, either sending payments or receiving payments, it will default to, to this bank account that the money is coming out of or going into. So if um, you know if you wanted this to be the primary, you just check that box. If you ever want to change your primary, you would just come once the account's been established. You can come back in and edit and either uh, you know uncheck it here or check it um, on another account. Okay, and then I just click save, and it's as easy as that. It'll set up a new account. So I'm going to cancel out of this, and we're going to go to an account that we already have set up, and it's this checking Wells Fargo. And, um, and now we're gonna step through matching transactions and uh, setting up these. So the other um, aspect that you can do once you set up an account uh, the old fashioned way is, let me see if I have one in here I can use for this. No, sorry, <laughs> I should have thought about this before. Um, the account that I'm showing you already has the feeds activated. And what I mean by feeds is that's basically the integration with your bank. Uh, an online banking account is required to set this up, um, but it sets up an integration with your bank through your online banking account to pull any transactions out and present them to you here in your Zoho Books account. So I have feeds set up and that's why it's saying I've got nine transactions here that have come into my account from the bank that I haven't done anything with yet. And that's what that means. To set up your feeds, I'll just show you where it is. Uh, we won't be able to go through the steps since they're already set up here, but I'll click on the account and it would be over here and where it says update credentials, it would say activate feeds. And you click that and then that'll open up a form just kind of very similar to the form that we filled in for creating the bank account and you'll need to enter in your online banking credentials. Um, and then once you do that, you'll get a message will pop up and it'll say um, that it'll take a few minutes, you know, come back in a little bit because they're, they're 
setting up the integration and, and communicating with the bank. Okay, but so again, we already have our feeds set up here and they get automatically refreshed. Um, so I just want to go through how you would then categorize your transaction. So again, if you're a books user, you know that you use it to, to track your money in and money out. So any um, income you get in, you, you, um, you register or log that and then at all of your expenses, you, know, you log those, any bills, things like that, you log those. And what this does is it kind of ties it all into the bank account. So if I get a bill in, I can mark that I paid that bill. Um, and then, and when I, you know, and, and so I can mark that I paid the bill through this bank account. And now what I want to do is connect that payment that I logged to the transaction in my bank account. So, and it's, it's very simple to do. Um, so let me pick out a good one here. So I would just to, to, to match the transaction to an entry in my um, Zoho Books account, I would just select the transaction. <clears throat> and then what, what uh, Zoho Books has done is it's gone and looks into your unmatched transactions and it's giving you the best possible match, which actually is the right match. And then it might also give you some other possible matches just based on the criteria that it uses for matching. <clears throat> so in this case, I got it right. And I can just click match. And now that goes away, they're matched together. So when I reconcile, when I go to reconcile my bank account, it, um, th those two will already be matched. I don't have to go through the manual process of clicking the ones that, um, you know, in the statement that are already, that are, I'm sorry, clicking in my account what I what I'm seeing on the bank statement I basically just did that by matching those transactions another way that you can match a transaction is uh, here's an example uh, what I wanted to do all right let's pick this one so here's uh, this is uh, just a purchase that was made on Amazon and and you know use the debit card out of the bank account. So it shows up as a transaction. And I really haven't put anything in my system yet for that. So, but what I can do now is enter that through this window by categorizing it manually. So I click this categorize manually. And now I say it's an expense. And I put, I select what expense account I want to put that in. It's office supplies. Uh, I can select the vendor here if I want. Uh, I don't know if I have Amazon in there. No, I do not. Um, so in, in this vendor window, you can select from your existing vendors, you can create a new vendor here, or this is an optional field, so you could also leave this blank. Uh, the date is pre-filled based on the transaction, the amount is set, and then the description is filled with the transaction description from the bank, but then you can always change this. If you know exactly what it was that you purchased, you could put something a little more uh, descriptive in there for um, for that purchase. So I can say this was uh, envelopes. Okay, and then you can even attach a receipt here. So if I had a printed receipt or a digital receipt, I can upload that file. Um, if I had a printed receipt, I would have to take a picture of it um, to, to then upload it. Um, and I can attach the receipt here. Lastly, is we can also bill this out to a customer. So if I bought these envelopes for one of my customers, I could choose that customer and say this is billable. So um, it was my expense, but I'm going to pass that on to my customer so I can make that as a billable expense. If you have um, CRM or projects integration, you can also attach this particular expense to a potential or a deal in your CRM account um, or a project um, in, actually these are, oops. Uh, actually these are, I'm sorry, I misspoke, not Zoho projects, but you can, you can create projects in Zoho Books and these would be, um, you could attach that to a project within Zoho Books. And then I just click save. And now that's been categorized. So. So basically, you know, this is just kind of maintenance that you have to do. Um, depends on how active your bank account is, is how often you do it. Um, but you, you know, you want to just go through maybe on a weekly basis, maybe on a monthly basis, 
um, just step through and categorize, um, again, you know, uh, match all of your bank transactions to uh, transactions in your uh, Zoho books. So um, uh, the other thing I'm, I'll, I'll address since this came up is if you have um, an expense that has very unique characteristics, like it's a certain amount every time, or it's a certain vendor that uh, you buy things like anytime I buy anything at Staples, I want that to be categorized as uh, office supplies. So I could set up a rule and then instead of having to enter all that information every time, I could just invoke the rule when I'm, um, when I'm matching. So that just saves you a couple steps. Uh, for now, I'm gonna skip this. Okay. And then I have a, another option here to uh, attach a receipt in this view if I chose to do that. Okay. So that's all there is to adding a bank account, activating the feeds, and then matching your transactions from your bank to um, records in your Zoho books. So by going through these steps and doing this, it just makes reconciling your bank account so easy because if you do everything correctly, when you reconcile the account, it should just automatically be zero. Um, so let's just show how we do that. So again, I come into my checking account and under here, I do reconcile account. <clears throat> and then I can say initiate reconciliation. And I put in my dates. So now you can see I haven't done this for a couple months. <laughs> um, but you put in, so if I just wanted to uh, reconcile for January, I would put in the closing balance from my bank statement uh, on January and say start reconciliation. And if I've done all my transaction matching, it should be reconciled. There should be nothing more that I need to do at that point. If it's not zero, then there's something that you missed and you'll have to go back and, and figure that out. Um, but basically by keeping up with it, it's just making your reconciliation that, you know, that much easier. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. And that is pretty much, um, banking integration for Zoho Books. So let me just pop into the takeaways. Um, so basically what we did for, we this is again, a Zoho Books video, and we were looking at the bank accounting feature in there, and we looked at how we add a bank account, how we activate feeds for a bank account, how we match transactions, and then how we reconcile our bank account. Okay. So that's it. Um, a quick short video on um, how to how to integrate your banking with Zoho Books and just make that whole chore accounting chore that much easier uh, to do. So hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you have any questions, our um, our uh, email address there is on the screen. So feel free to shoot an email if there's anything that um, that you have a question on uh, in the video content. All right. Uh, okay. Well. That's all I have. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video and um, come back soon.